we're going to work on doing some conversions today and we're going to work on converting from a decimal number and our decimal number that we want to use today is number 144 and we're going to convert that to binary and we're going to actually convert it to one byte of binary. So with binary numbers we know that they can either contain a one or a zero and that's it. So there are two possible digits that can go in each field, which is why you can see in this row that all of these are powers of two. So two to the zero power, two to the first, two to the second, two to the third, because if it's, there's only two options, we need to start with powers of two numbers. And just so you know, each of these place values in this byte, are, each individual value is called a bit. So we have eight bits make up a byte. And some people have been talking about nibbles, so I thought I would throw that in. And a nibble is just four bits. And so two nibbles would equal one byte. You don't need to know the vocabulary in order to solve the problem, but I just thought I would review that quickly. So the way it works is you start with your number. So I'm going to start with 144. I'm going to write it again. And I have to look at all of the power of two values, and I have to try and find the largest power of two value that I can subtract from 144. So I'm going to look over here. I'm going to start on the left, and I look. My first number here is 128. Now, obviously, these numbers can get much higher, but we're starting, we're learning, so we're starting with smaller values. We're not going to get anything bigger than a byte is what we're going to use for our practice but the concept will just continue. If you wanted to go one more to the left over here, you would just do two to the eighth power. And remember, anything that's raised to a power, it's just you're multiplying the number two that many times. So like two to the fourth power is really like saying two times two times two times two. So the four here shows the four twos. And if you were to do that, two times two is four, and then four times two is eight, and then 8 times 2 is 16, which is the number we have here. So that's how the power of 2 works, raising things to the power. So we have 144 here. We're going to look for which power of the 2 number is large enough to subtract. So I can subtract 128 from 144. So I'm going to write that number here, and I'm going to subtract. So I have to because again, place value is very important in all kinds of math. So I need to borrow from my tens and put it in my ones. And now I have to say that that is six because I can add that back up to see. So 14 minus eight is six. And then three minus two is one. So I left am left with the remainder of 16. So the trick is anytime you use a number, so I used 128 here. I have to indicate that that place value was used by putting a 1 here. So now I look at the next place value, and that's the 2 to the 6th power. It has a value of 64. 64 is much too big to subtract from 16. I cannot use it. If I'm not using it, I put a 0. 32, same things. I cannot use it, so I put a 0. Can I use 16? You bet I can. So if I subtract 16 from 16, I end up with 0. So I use that 16 right here, so I have to indicate by putting it a 1 there. Now I'm already at 0. I cannot subtract anything else. But I still have to fill in this place value. I need to put zeros here so I can alert someone that those values are not being used. So. I think that the binary equivalent of 144 is 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. And I can double check my work. I always like to double check. And I say, okay, anything that has a 1 in it, I need to add it back together. So I say, okay, there's a 1 at 128, and there's a 1 at 16. That's it. So I just add these two numbers back. So 6 plus 8. 14, 2 plus 1 is 3, plus 1 more is 4, and then 1 plus 0 is 1, so we have 100, and so 144 is indeed equal to 144, so I know that I have the right value. 
I'd like us to practice on a second value, so we're just going to flip this slide. We're going to now practice with the number 38. So if we take the number 38, I'm going to write it here, and we look to see if we can subtract the largest power of 2 value in this byte, which is 128, which is 2 to the 7th power. We definitely can't do that, so we're going to put a 0 in that spot, in that place value. We're going to look again at the 64. 64 is also bigger than 38. We cannot subtract that, so we're going to put a 0 there. We're going to look at 32. 32 can be subtracted from 38. So I'm going to go 38 minus 2, and then 8 minus 2 is 6. 3 minus 3 is 0, so 6 is the answer. I've used the 32, and so I have to indicate that by putting a 1 in the 2 to the 5th spot. Now I look at the number 16. 16 is larger than 6, so I cannot use that. I put a 0. I look at 8. 8 is also larger than 6, so I put a 0. 4. Oh, I can subtract 4. So I'm going to do minus 4, and I end up with 2. So I use the 4 here to subtract, so I indicate that by putting a 1. Now I have 2, and can I subtract 2 from there? I certainly can. 2 minus 2 is 0, so I'm going to put a 1 there, indicating that I did use that 2. And then since I'm already at 0, I can't use anything else, so everything else I would prefill with a 0, which there's only one, one place value left. So again, I like to double check my work, so I look and anything that has a 1 in it, I'm going to try and add. So there's a 1 in the 2 to the 5th place, which is the number 32. There's a number 1 in the 2 to the 2nd place, which is worth the decimal value of 4. And there's 1 in the 2 to the 1 power, first power. So I'm going to put a 2 there, and I'm going to add all these numbers up. So 4 plus 2 is 6, plus 2 more is 8, and then 3 plus nothing is 3, so we have 38, because there's 30 there, so 38 is indeed the same as the 38 decimal number that I started with, so I know that decimal 38 is the equivalent to 00100110.